everybody, my name is Janvi Patel and welcome to my channel, Janvi Patel. So this is a video of St. Expedite. So you can see St. Expedite there, you can see the candle, you can see the flowers that I have decorated. So of course there is Rose, which is which he loves, and there is Marigold because um, it looks pretty and because I had it and I felt like decorating it this way. And then here you can see I have the water and there is some sugar in it. So that takes care of the sweet, okay? And I had a red cloth also, so I have set it up for the altar. Okay, now in this video, as the title suggests, uh, this is about saying expedite helping you with your financial wishes, okay? And there is some writing that I have done, which I will be showing you and explaining to you how you can uh, pray to say and expedite to receive a large sum of money, to, to receive a lottery, and basically to receive money for your needs. Okay, it is a very simple method, but it's very powerful. And that's the magic of Saint Expedite, you know. He you tell him and he does what he uh, what you have asked him, or at least he gives you some sort of momentum or result related to your wish. Okay, and um, yeah, here I have placed everything that he likes. I want to address some questions about, uh, you know, which I receive very often, which are about what to do with the sweet, what to do with the water. And I uh, see guys, a lot of it is common sense, okay? And uh, shall I offer the sweet before or after? So I've explained this in the other videos also, but I will explain it again. Now, uh, you can see this candle here. This is a strawberry candle, strawberry scented red candle, okay? I'm not gonna let this burn down completely. I am just letting it burn for like 20, 30 minutes, you know, till I am doing this. But at the same time, it becomes an offering to him. Okay, the water and the sugar, that also becomes an offering to him and it's two in one. I can also put a syrup in this, okay? Uh, now, what to do with the water? Now, you cannot, you should not drink this water. You should put it in the plants. Okay, regarding changing the water daily or changing the water once a week, it's really up to you. And anyway, um, the water will evaporate on its own. Okay, and the flowers, once they dry up, you should uh, change them. Okay, and it's up to you whether you want to do this altar once a week or you want to maintain it as a daily altar. You know, you want to do this like for seven days or every day. It's really up to you. Another question is, what do I do with the sweets? Uh, well, if you want to distribute it to, um, you should not feed sweets to dogs. So that's a no. If you want to, uh, you know, distribute it to other people, distribute it to other people. If you want to eat it yourself, eat it yourself. Okay, you want to give it to your family members, do that. Uh, whatever is feasible for you, whatever is comfortable for you, do that. All right. Um, the only thing is that if you have offered, if you have uh, kept sweets here, okay, then ensure that it is covered and it's in a clean place and, you know, it's away from insects and things like that because obviously if insects come on the sweet, then you will not be able to eat it, all right? So you just need to be careful about that and it shouldn't dry up too much. It shouldn't be exposed to like candle fumes for a very long time. That shouldn't happen. All right, so yeah, just use your kind of food sense and kind of go with your intuition. All right, I have given you the guidelines. Now, uh, so this takes care of the, some of the frequently asked questions. Now let's move on to the lottery win. Now this method, of course, we are praying uh, to Saint Expedite in the sense we are seeking his intervention. Okay, Saint Expedite is mostly invoked for money matters, for luck, for urgent money. Uh, and he is also invoked, you know, to win a lottery because lo winning a lottery requires a lot of luck, okay? And lottery also refers to like just winning or getting a large sum of money or a certain sum of money without really giving or doing anything, okay? Like receiving a result without putting in much effort, okay? So it's like surprise money, gift money, those kind of things also. So now what this prayer is about praying to him for your financial needs, outlining your financial needs to him, 
okay and also asking him that please help me to win this particular lottery and with this particular lottery win uh, this amount i will be spending this amount this way so let's say for example i want to win uh, i'll give it to you in like a couple of currencies okay so if i want to win one lakh indian rupees which is a good amount of money here in india one lakh is like a uh, hundred thousand indian rupees okay so if i want to win that much so okay fine if i want to win one lakh rupees what am i going to do with it so I can say something like, I'll again give you a couple of examples. I can say something like, I want to buy uh, Christian Louboutin shoes for 50,000 rupees. Okay, and the other 50,000 rupees, I want to buy, um, say, something from Sabya Sachi. Okay, <laughs> or I want to buy uh, an iPhone. Okay. So different things. Now this is obviously luxurious. Or, or I want to spend forty thousand towards a phone, and I want to spend ten thousand rupees on makeup. All right. Uh, of course, this is luxurious. Let's talk about something more basic. So if I talk about I want to win one lakh rupees in the lottery, and one lakh rupees is quite a believable amount. So with one lakh rupees, I will give ten thousand to my mother. I will spend 10,000 um, or okay, I will spend 20,000 rupees paying off debts. Uh, I will uh, save 50,000 rupees and 20,000 rupees. I will uh, okay, now I have 20,000 rupees, so 10,000 rupees I will celebrate with my family. Um, out of the other 10,000 rupees, 5,000 I will donate to charity and the other 5000 rupees i will just keep for my expenses okay so this is how i will spend 1 lakh rupees if i will get it in a lottery win or out of the blue like 1 lakh additional income okay or 1 lakh just getting 1 lakh rupees now if you are talking about if we convert this to um another currency it's about 1500 usd okay so how do you want to if you received 1500 usd today or let's go with you you received 2000 usd today how would you spend it okay so you need to write that down like i will spend 100 dollars say towards my towards the rent i will 100 dollars i will donate to my favorite charities 200 dollars i will um, or 300 dollars i will distribute amongst family and friends another two hundred dollars i will buy uh, gifts or i will buy makeup or whatever you know six hundred dollars i will buy louboutin shoes <laughs> that's like i think the most basic pair um it could be anything i will spend um i don't know not another six hundred dollars on a holiday okay taking a road trip or flying somewhere and having a little uh, vacation or a break of course please consider you know the travel guidelines in your country okay so this is an example of what you would do with a certain amount of money so you need to write down that if i get so much money like what will you do with it like a lot of people are like i want to win the lottery i want to win the lottery it'll be amazing i want to win 1 million usd i want to win uh, 1 million rupees i want to win 1 million um, dirhams okay the arab emirati arab emirates dirham so whatever it is you want to do with your lottery win you want to write that down i will show you the paper and i will also be uh, sharing this picture in the community section the posts section so you can have a look over there so it's very important it's always very important to get clear about what you will do uh, with the money that will come to you okay and in fact in the book ask and it is given uh, by Esther and Jerry Hicks in the teachings of Abraham there is an exercise also which is about uh, what will you do like if you received hundred dollars today how will you spend it tomorrow you receive two hundred dollars how will you spend that and then you double it you know four hundred dollars how will you spend that and so you write out in detail how you will spend your money okay and there also you are kind of intending for more money to come to you you're intending for your financial situation to get better 
and it's always good to pray for financial stability for financial flow and for stability which is maintained over a period of time you know not just some windfall of abundance which disappears okay um so like that and you also have to become a little less dependent on a lottery win and you have to become more focused on what can i do to change my situation you know what action steps i can take to change my financial beliefs and to have better financial beliefs um you know to to incorporate them in my life and in my mindset and to function from there okay so that is a uh that is another topic but these are just some tips i am sharing with you as i am kind of getting ideas and anyway let's get into the topic of this video so i have covered uh saint expedite faqs okay uh i have also explained to you some money concepts and now let's get into the method right um and of course you'll know that whenever you get some result with saint expedite like if you have prayed for a thousand dollars and you get a uh, hundred dollars you must acknowledge that result okay even if you get something like fifty dollars out of the blue or you get fifty dollars for whatever you have asked for you must acknowledge that so how will you acknowledge that you will publish gratitude that's your testimony you will like also thank saint expedite with all your heart and you will do some offering so if you set up an altar and you give him you know a k a piece of cake or you give him sugar water or you give him sharbat like in india um you know the rose sharbat is very popular so many times i offer him that or many times when i pick something i offer it to him first um many times i uh, you know i also do offerings on behalf of clients and i also buy a particular pastry and offer it to him it really depends on the intuition that i get okay but almost always when i bake something the first thing i do is offer it to him and it's really not about how much has he done for me has he done this for me has he not done this for me it's about appreciating his presence it is appreciating um everything he has been doing for me which i may not even be aware of you know because many times we ask for small things and they get granted and we get we forget about it so it's always nice to do like a collective thank you and you know if you are kind of uh, invoking someone's help to um help you out in the sense you're invoking someone's power to help you out to elevate you it's nice to offer things in advance it is nice to do things for them without that give and take so to speak okay and it makes that energy also want to give you more instead of you like keeping track like okay i will give you something when my wish is done it's just nice right like if you invite somebody over to your house you will offer them things you know you will give them things like even if somebody has come for your work okay so you will give him water you may give him tea or coffee you may i don't know serve him lunch if that is part of the thing but you will always offer him something uh before you settle into you know a business the same thing if you visit somebody's office or somebody visits your office it's always nicer to be hospitable rather than straight away you know go to work or get to the work discussion so think about it from that point of view all right so now i will show you what i have written i don't know how you can see it but i will read it out and then i will um share the picture in the community uh, section so we have uh, the lottery win number 2 this is the lottery win uh, the second video so this is divine zen expedite thank you so much for your miracles a uh, money magician like saint expedite is a money magician unlike any other i ask you for your magical intervention for my financial needs and desires i desire to win this particular lottery so write your details of the lottery which is the name of the lottery the state of the lottery okay like for example if it's a florida state lottery then you will write it like that the country so name state country amount and date okay these are the details you need to include if there are other details then please include that and then you have with this amount i chose to do the following so you need to list out what you will do with the amount like i explained to you like if i get 2000 usd how will i spend it if i get 1 lakh indian rupees or 100000 indian rupees how will i spend it okay 
uh, what I plan to do with it and uh, so the, you need to write it so even if you are asking for a 2 million USD lottery win or a 10 million USD lottery win you need to break it down and write it okay if you are supposed to pay taxes regarding your lottery win then you have to figure them in as well and this this prayer or this exercise is in no way a shortcut to success it is not about getting away from hard work you need to do the work in any case okay and uh, oh i'm so sorry about that i think that was an important message which had to be uh you know sent to like i don't know people have to take note of that i'm so sorry so then you have helped me in ways that you deem best i look forward to your miracles for me thank you so we're also telling him that look this is the amount i want this is what i will do with it and i think i can get it through a lottery if you, and then you're surrendering to him like help me out in the ways you think best okay so if he can help you out in another way he will do that if he can open other channels for you he will do that okay and he will give you guidance you have to listen to him and follow it and then i look forward to your miracles for me thank you so the thing is read this prayer uh, daily thrice or nine times altar you can set up or you can just look at this altar and that is also fine have a look at this you know you can like even take a picture of this and have a look at this altar that is fine and um, yeah just pray with faith pray with love pray with uh, dedication you know be regular pray with gratitude pray with optimism and uh, yeah just acknowledge the miracles that you get acknowledge the results that you receive so you need to acknowledge the results with a testimonial of gratitude and an offering and that's about it like say thank you and offer something all right and uh, another way to do offerings is to kind of you can also feed people in saint expedite's name it's really up to you he will guide you as to what he wants and what to do with it and everything so trust me just go with the flow the first thing you need to do is to write down what you will do with your money that you want to receive and um yeah and then you start praying to say an expedite to help you get the money either through a lottery win or through some other means or ways that he thinks are better for you in any case i wish you all the best with all your financial endeavors i wish you uh, healthier financial beliefs i wish you lots of financial support and lots of financial miracles this is saint expedite here for you and also this is jami patel signing off for now thank you so much for watching if you like this video please share please subscribe to my channel please comment and you know hit the like button and yes if you feel that somebody would benefit from this video or you just want to uh, spread the glory of saint expedite please do share this video and please have a look at the other videos i have lots of saint expedite videos so happy browsing and once again thank you for watching bye for now